Upper SM back with another video of the Archon of Sun's Grace Calyx uh, Infinite Infinite Pegasus deck uh, using Calyx's first ability uh, to give one of the Pegasus tokens that the Archon can create to make it an enchantment. And then once it's an enchantment, um, whenever we uh, create a Pegasus token, it will keep spawning more and more Pegasus tokens. So what I've done in this version, um, it's not going to win the same turn that it goes off unless you already have a Pegasus in play, which I guess you probably would already have. Uh, so we've taken out the uh, Bulric and the uh, Valor of Akros. And we've just gone in to make it a little more consistent just to get the angel out and adjust things. So we still have uh, Nylea in the deck. It's still some green conversion, actually a little more green conversion. But I've also put in Sentinel's Eye uh, as another uh, aura card, which can give a creature vigilance to get the token at the bottom of the stack, as well as Vivian, Champion of the Wilds, which... Um, its first ability you can use to give a creature reach um, till end of turn, so you can use that to get the Pegasus token on the bottom, and the bottom ability is a tutor effect to get half half creatures. And then I have gone back and put in uh, Temple Garden um, into this deck. Um, Animist Awakening might also be that. So let's give it a try, uh, see if we can finally get this combo to go off on film. And wanted me to switch decks, but here we go. We're playing this in the uh, Simic uh, Rising Tensions event. So we'll give it a try. Again, um, from the from the Ashes Slack chat, uh, Alfred figured this out in a uh, Rising Inferno event, and Nair was able to replicate it, figure out what was happening, so we're trying to have fun playing around with this infinite combo. So we'll see if we can make this officially uh, to infinity and beyond video. Because the last two times I've tried to play it, I've just won before the combo would go off with those other cards. But we're going to make it a little simpler here to hopefully just be able to go off quickly. All right, good. This is a good start. Uh, we want Nylea Kenai in play, so that all it can do in this deck now is fetch our Angel. But then we'll start to make it go through. Then we will have um, Sentinel's Mark once we have a different uh, or our enchantment to get Calyx, um, to get our Pegasus token and then use Calyx's ability. So we're, we're pretty close here. All right, uh, what makes the most sense? We can get green matches and red matches, so we'll just go ahead and do that for speed's sake. All right, let's see if we can get white matches. Uh, what else can we get? Whatever, we'll just take these white matches here. Great, now we're starting to get the Archon in play, which is wonderful. So let's see, we need to get an Archon in play, and then we need to cast a another enchantment after that so let's do what we can to get mana on this guy we'll get a green and some red here what does our opponent have probably something obnoxious yep like suppression bonds so we'll see if we can naturally match that away um, hmm. All right, so our Archon is disabled, so we need to find a way to get rid of that get rid of that support um, in the interim we'll just keep trying to charge some stuff up and since it's disabled it doesn't make sense to uh, to activate uh, abilities 
at the moment, so. All right. Should hopefully make it a little bit easier to uh, to get rid of that support. No, and he cast another one. That's fine. All right. So we'll go ahead and at least get it back down to one. Great. He's, no, well, I was going to say he's helping us, but he got some other matches. So we'll keep working towards trying to kill his support. Great. He popped it himself. All right, he has divine visitation and soaring out. So let's see what we can do here. So what we want to do is we're going to want to cast an enchantment, which will make a Pegasus token. And then we are going to want to play the Sentinel's Mark on said Pegasus token to get it on the bottom. Great, so we have our Pegasus token. We're gonna go ahead and give it Vigilance, so it will take the bottom creature slot. There we go. Hit, and then next turn, we're gonna activate uh, Calyx's first loyalty ability. And then we have an aura that we can cast on it to uh, continue and then we should be able to go to infinity and beyond and get infinite pegasi so let's see in order to do this what we need to do is we need to hit one of our five I believe we have in the deck now um, enchantments omen of the hunt is an enchantment so this will get buffed, and if we look at it now, it should be a Pegasus enchantment, and it is. And now we get to sit back and watch a lot of Pegasi come into the play and say, we got to do another infinite combo. All right, here we go. So we're going to go ahead and cast an aura or support, an aura or enchantment. And as we can see, we're alternating back and forth between an enchantment creature Pegasus coming into play, which will trigger the constellation of the Archon. And this will keep going as long as we want it to. So what we're going to do, let this keep going back and forth until we can get a not now prompt once we have dealt over uh, 111 damage, uh, we would deal over 111 damage to our opponent. At that point, we will choose to stop the loop. And since the Pegasus has been around since last turn, we will be able to just win with our giantly buffed Pegasus this turn. So again, uh, Calyx is uh, really the only Planeswalker you can do this combo with that I know of because I don't think there's any other way in the game at the moment to make a creature um, an enchantment creature. Um, so basically what you'd need is something that every time, um, you need something that would become an enchantment creature every time um, in order for this to happen. And I have not been able to find it, but if anyone finds any other ways that you can do infinite combos, 
uh, like this, um, please let me know because uh, we're always looking for fun, new, different options of what you can do. And again, this is not, um, it will just be killing with swinging with a giant creature, which actually is still winning this turn. So if you're looking to, to make a bunch of Pegasi uh, to beat face with your opponent, uh, this can work. So uh, again, we are getting pretty close to uh, being able to uh, just stop this loop as soon as we get a prompt to uh, just kill our opponent here. So uh, we're basically waiting for that. Um, but again, thanks to Alfred and Nair for uh, coming up with this, for noticing this idea and figuring out how to make it. And now we are going to choose to stop the current loop. And now we were able to swing for 117 damage and kill the opponent in a one shot. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. We have documentary evidence of infinite Pegasi working and winning a match. So hope you enjoyed um, and more videos coming soon. If you are interested in joining me from the Ashes Alliance of Coalitions, you can send an email to goblinpile at gmail.com or from the Ashes PQ at gmail.com and we can get you as part of our part of our slack chat where we could get you on a team if you want to play or just discuss theory and decks or other just crazy stuff like cats all right take care bye bye